What is going on, Lunatics? Guys, you know why I know we're pumping? Because people are in the comment section down below crying like babies saying, I'm never going to go anywhere. I'm not going to do anything because it's already dead. And nobody, everybody knows that except you. And that's the way they sound in my brain because I think they're missing or they have an extra chromosome. Now, guys, let's talk about what's going on here. I'm going to give you the charts. I'm going to give you all you need to know about Luna Classic for the day. If you like this type of content, make sure that you hit the like button on the way in. And let me know in the comment section, what is it that you want to see more of so we can improve this show for you because we bring it to you every single day, Monday through Friday. Now, let's go. All right, guys, first up, Binance Square is still doing their thing right now. Uh, Terra Luna Classic sparks new hope with a massive 60% supply burn. After months of setback and uncertainty, uh, the community has made an unprecedented decision to burn 60% of the token's total supply. This extraordinary move uh, to restore investor confidence, stabilize the ecosystem, potentially pave the way for a brighter future. I don't know what this is about, right? So in response to the crisis, Lunk community has united around a daring initiative, removing 60% of the circulating token supply. This dramatic supply reduction is designed to reignite demand and create scarcity, potentially boosting Lunk's value, rebuild investor confidence after a history of volatility collapses. And by the way, let me also point this out. None of this happens right here unless Binance, and this is on, uh, just to be clear here, this is on Binance Square. So potentially this is a big deal, but um, unless, unless Binance is willing to make that burn sacrifice, then there's not really uh, much opportunity here because uh, let me go to the supply and you need go no further than they hold 2.384 trillion in their hot wallet, meaning that nothing that we do is going to matter unless Binance is in on it. And then if that's the case, then we also have a trillion supply right here. So, and this is staked. And, and by the way, this has gone under a trillion because you do have people now witnessing the pump, seeing it starting to happen, and they're starting to unstake and... Um, you know, I don't know what's going to end up happening there. Most likely going to dump on price at some point, but we're in the the beginning, the dawn, if you will, of this bull run. So we got a long way to go, and we got a huge pump getting ready to happen. But we can't go any further than at least 2.3 trillion tokens. So if I were just just say to you, like, hey, you know, everything that's in your wallet gone like that and the only thing left is 2.3 trillion in your Binance hot wall if I were to just do that then let's go back here and let's look at where we are right now we have a circulating supply of 5.51 trillion uh, we have a market cap right here of three zeros 1229 if we did that then that would still be a little it's about 60 percent they have about 40 percent of the supply so if you just consider that would make the price three zeros three but none of us would have any any crypto right? Uh, so it, it seems untenable unless we get a major, major concession from Binance in regards to this burn protocol. They would need to voluntarily do uh, some sort of massive burn over there. And I don't see that happening. So uh, I don't think that there's a possibility of this happening. Um, and by the way, when we, if we were to do something like this, if we were to make um, uh, if we were to make some sort of big move in, in this regard, I think it would be largely rejected by Binance. They're about money. Um, at the end of the day, it's nice that we have people like uh, CZ Binance, you know, people like that who are um, what we would call benevolent to you know the whole process here. However, they're not just giving money away. That's not how any of this works. So I don't think that we're going to see that happen. So. Um, you know, let's move on from there. And just remember here, I, there is a discussion about it, but there's nothing that's really going to happen. In the Commonwealth, uh, there's not really anything new that's popping up here. Uh, we're still talking about Ledger Live integration um, and the decentralization. And, you know, the fact that really, I mean, you know, a lot of this comes down to we need a website. We need some exposure. We need, you know, positivity out here. Now, as far as meme coins go, uh, you can see up here that we're up a couple hundred bucks right now. Uh, food is up back again over 100. It's at 110. Cat with Hat is at 102. Uh, Juris is at 96. Uh, Garuda X is at 67. Uh, Boys is at 62. And then the rest. And, and actually, we're having a little bit of a pump. And a lot of these are, are, are you know, deep down. LNC, um, Lunk Pepe, Cookie. Um, so, you know, some of these are just, you know, there, there's just not much that you can do with them. Uh, Hamster Meme, Lenny Lunk, MNT. You know, some of these things are just, I mean, 
Um, some of these are just, you know, they're, 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 it's going to take the market actually going crazy. Also, uh, in the tariff pairing, you see this up 7% on the day. So, um, you know, th there's some moves happening here. And, you know, we're, we're seeing them play out. But don't get your hopes up until we really get into the bull run. And really, right now, we're just kind of settling in, if you will, and, and layering yeah, if if you know if you understand what I'm talking about, we're just kind of you know going up a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit. The parabolic banana zone, it's not here yet, but it's getting close. No proposals up for governance. Now let's look at price action. So, um, I, I mean, I can't say anything more than uh, I'm I'm always right. And uh, what I tell you, uh, I told you, and this is the target ultimately, right? But I said that, you know, once we're here, we're in this descending channel. We're looking for a breakout right here. We got the breakout. The breakout came up to the top of this range, right? Didn't exactly peg off of it like it did the last time right here. But, and that's not a great sign, by the way, because that means that you're moving down here in a descending pattern. And what you would like to see is a little bit of excitement here and then a little breakout above here to give you confidence that we're going to continue on. However, when you look at it, ultimately, even when the market was dipping just a little bit over the last couple of days, and there were moments there, uh, if you look at total, you see here we had uh, you know a little bit of red in those days, but we still saw a good consistent movement up until today from Luna Classic. So I would venture to say that if we get a successful test on this range right here and pop above it, then we're going to continue on to the bottom of this range right here, which puts us in line with exactly where I told you guys that's going to be the next big move, right? So uh, that's what I'll be looking for to happen over the next couple days. Now, why should that happen over the next couple days? Well, Binance is about to do their burns. So, you know, you're going to see those burns happening. And then we've got to get some kind of clarity over here from Lunk Dash about where are the rest of the burns on USTC. We know that Terraform Labs has 290 million still sitting in this wallet, but it hasn't been burned. We have 1.84 uh, billion on LFG, but that also has not been burned. Why are they holding on to it? What is the scam that Terraform Labs is running right now where they're not burning this stuff? Now, by the way, I say that openly uh, as if it's a scam because, I mean, let's face it, what are they going to do? Cry? You know what I mean? Uh, like, all they're doing is winding down right now. They can't go to the bankruptcy court and say, hey, you know that guy from YouTube? He said bad things about me. Like, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Uh, so, um, what I think would be the, the, the move here... Uh, would be for Terraform Labs to actually do and complete the burns that they've been doing. Remember, and I want to point this out because a lot of people come up and they say, well, you know, LFG, they're entitled to have their tokens. No, they're not. The reason for LFG, the Luna Foundation Guard, was to pr protect the repeg. No other purpose. It doesn't serve purpose. It's not for profit. It's not for money. It doesn't give anybody an advantage. It doesn't do anything other than that. It is to protect the $1 peg, and it did not do that. Okay, it failed. Duquan failed. Now, that should mean that this is pedantic at this point, that it is going to burn. So, uh, I am still wondering what is going on over here. Now, uh, this is Happy Caddy Crypto's website. So, if he's in fact accurate about this, and I know that for sure he's accurate about the Luna Foundation Guard. Uh, this, this wallet right here um, was in the bankruptcy, so we know that that's the case, but why is it not burned? I mean, again, that's the question that we have to ask, or was Happy Caddy Crypto wrong? And I don't think that that's the case. I think he's pretty thorough. So, uh, you know, one could ask, like, what is the next step? I mean, what are they going to do? Transfer it to me? They're not going to do that. Anyway, uh, so that's where we are. You know, that's, that's, that's what we're waiting for. As far as Luna Classic goes over here, I mean, you can kind of go down here, and you don't see any TFL wallets that are you know, just kind of laying out there, but you see a lot of unnamed wallets. There's got to be something out here that they're, they're still obligated to burn in some way. And don't forget, by the way, crypto.com still has 180 billion Luna Classic. There is a, a distinct possibility that we're going to get some, some big time announcements on stuff. And by the way, remember, crypto.com still has Lunk transfers enabled. So uh, I haven't heard anything about uh, actual trading or anything like that. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I do believe that, you know, we should start seeing some notifications coming up at some point very, very soon. In fact, here are the markets right now. And if you look at the volume, the volume is still BTCC. You know, I'm not really, I'm, I don't really understand what is going on with that, but uh, we come over here like page two, you know, we're still not seeing crypto.com kind of popping up on the radar here. 
Um, so you know, it's still not uh, it's still not available for trading, but they still hold a significant amount of supply. So um, you know, unless they're planning on dumping on the market at some point, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that what we're going to see is we're going to see them uh, re-enable trading coming up very, very soon. I think once the bankruptcy is complete and once we get into the bullish, the most bullish part of this market, and once they have the confidence that this is a, a you know a full-on community takeover, if you will, and that there's no chance that, that you know, they, they might even be waiting, uh, in all honesty here, for actual burns. They might just be sitting here waiting for Terraform Labs to finish what they were doing, and then you're going to see some kind of uh, move from, from crypto.com. So, uh, and that brings us to uh, price right now. Uh, you can see right here, 85, 86 million in volume, down 42%, but big volume over the weekend. And by the way, we're at the 25th, so in six days, we're going to have another big Binance burn. Uh, over here on USTC, uh, volume down 45%. Typical weekend, typical weekend, but we're still getting a nice amount of volume in trading. So we're getting there right now. The only thing that I would tell you is that Thursday in the United States is going to be Thanksgiving. So that means that you're going to have a dump. We've always had a dump. I do want to come back over here and I do want to remind you guys that this is total three right here. And this right here is the election in 2020. Okay. Um, and right here, when you see that right there, you see those big red candles right there. That's Thursday, November 26th. That was Thanksgiving. So Wednesday and Thursday before Thanksgiving and on Thanksgiving, that's when we had the massive dump in the market last time. And look at this. This is in one day, 25%. So there's a massive sell-off on meme coins and altcoins uh, on, the, on that day. Now, will it wait until Wednesday or Thursday? Might not. I mean, we might dump at any point, but you know, just be aware that we're probably looking at some downward momentum and downward pressure. And then we look at some sideways action right here, taking us into January. We get to January 1st, and then look at this. This is this is when the takeoff happened the last time. It was January. So, you know, we have a target in mind. We have a date in mind. We have uh, the time right here. And by the way, after we got that dump, we got a pump back up near that top. If you notice right here, kind of double topped right there, right? It's, it wasn't a bearish divergence. It was just a double top. Uh, and then it came back down for another test at the bottom, right? We, we, we wicked down one more time and then boom, that's when the, took, the takeoff happened. I would suggest that we're probably going to get a similar occurrence again. So uh, how does that apply to Luna Classic? Well, in a best case scenario in the next couple of days, but today and tomorrow, maybe, you know, we get a wick up into this range right here. And then in the event that that were to happen, then we're looking at a, a dump down into the 26 range, like right there, right where we are right about now, a little bit you know, a little bit down. Now, again, this perfect opportunity for you to make a, a risk-based play if you follow this and you believe that what I'm what I'm showing you right now did certainly happen, but will it happen again? And if it does, then you can accumulate again right here and then boom, uh, we're going to have a takeoff over here, but we're still going to be down in this little range right here uh, going into December, right? An another dip right around Christmas. Um, if it plays the same way, uh, again, this is a higher low up here. This was a higher over here. And then boom into January, and now we're off to the races, and that's when you start to see this big, big, big move coming uh, very, very soon. So that's what it would look like. So if you're in the in the market for some kind of swing, there's your opportunity. I think right now kind of is it. Now I would like to see again this. I would like to see this thing fill out a little bit more and pop above here. That would inspire me with a little more confidence. Uh, when when this dump does happen, inevitably uh, it may not. By the way, Luna Classic might not even dump. Uh, but you know, if you're doing it with the, the, the Asian investors who do most of the business on Binance and you can suspect that that's probably going to happen, uh, because you know, they're, they're more profit driven and not long-term hodlers. So, you know, we'll see what happens, but, um, there you have it. That's, that's what's going on. Uh, Ter uh, uh, Terraform Labs hasn't done anything, uh, but let's point out something right here because this was important, even though it was it's not a big deal, but it is. Bitcoin dominance is decreasing while its price is stable, which is factual. USDT dominance is decreasing too, which is also factual. Ethereum is on fire and the lunk chart is super bullish. Alt season is warming up. Now, have we gotten an alt season yet? No, we have not. Now, people like this, when they tell you, hey, this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen, um, you know, again, you have to go back over here, total three, and you have to go look at total three from November 20. Is it going to happen? Um, you know, it's, we've already... We've already had a move, right? We've already had that move. So the question is, when does the actual big move happen? And I'm sorry, but it's January. It's January that that's going to happen. Could it happen before then? 
Absolutely. We can get an alt queen season at any point. We can get a, a big move at any moment. Okay. I'm not saying that it won't happen. I'm just saying that in the event that you are looking at this from a historical perspective, January is the target. So we might get a continued pump over here, but we'll get a nice little dump coming into it because, you know, buyers are going to step out for the holidays and sellers, the bears, will be here uh, to wreck it and dunk down on the price. But ultimately, uh, it's, it's you know, if you look at it historically and you kind of zoom out from this range right here, the more you zoom out, the more you kind of say, well, that's just sideways action. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, uh, even though that's 20% or 25%, 26%, whatever that number is, that's still sideways action. So we're still going to see sideways action, but then banana zone, that's where it all happens. And by the way, we got two of those. We got this big move here. Then we got that dump into July and then we got boom, it all happened again. And then uh, meme coins, meme coins didn't come over here until like October uh, after, you know, meme coins started like right kind of in February when people got their taxes. Like, you know, so it's, it, we're, we're just about here. So, um, and I know I'm saying a lot without saying much, but I'm kind of excited about where we're headed. And I think that the, the broader market is about to really, really set sail. So uh, bear that in mind. Also, uh, otherwise, it's just really a, a bunch of conversation at this point. You know, uh, a lot of people waiting because uh, they want to be the one. Now, here's the good news for you. Here's the updated white paper for the repeg from Leonardo. Uh, I asked him to come for an interview and we can talk about it for people. And he said, thank you. Yes, I would love to. We'll DM you in the next few days to arrange a time. So if you guys want to see Leonardo talk about ceramics repeg, then uh, let me know in the comment section down below and we'll get that out to you uh, coming up very, very soon. Uh, it's be very interesting to see and we'll see the sustainability and we'll be able to ask, to ask layman questions, not just you know the technical details and stuff like that, but we'll be able to talk about it and we'll be able to ask the questions that I want to know and I hope that they're the questions that you want to know. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't already, please go to Terra Casino and sign up today. There's a link in the description down below. Rich Wild and the Pearl of Vishnu. If I can get 20 subscribers, if, if 20 of you guys, and I get three or 4,000 people who watch this every day, but if I can get 20 or 30 of you guys to sign up over here, then it makes it all worthwhile. Start doing a little bit of wagering today. Um, this is There's not a whole lot that you can do in the United States. I do want to, to, to spell that out for you. So if you're overseas and you're looking at this, then, then sign up for me and, and start doing a little risk-based gaming here today certainly helps out the channel and everything they're giving away two million dollars from the world poker league from now until december 22nd so you got about a month left for that and um you can use xrp you can use luna classic luna whatever you want to use it's your world baby just just do it uh and as far as meme coins go uh we've got uh my stake is up in four days uh and by the way at, at four days i will have staked this over ten thousand twice so I am sure that this launch pad number, which is now stuck at like 92, 69, like it's going to pump, uh, uh, you know, in the next day or two or three or four or five or six or whatever number of days. So I'll be able to get in a little bit on uh, uh, the selenium, but, you know, um, we're working on it. All right, guys. Also, uh, for Rocket X, just to let you guys know, I am uh, ranked 26th now in Rocket Defense. And uh, FRG, now, you know, I always call it FRAG because there is a game called FRAG, and it's just easier to say that right now. But just so you understand, fr the FRG is actually Future Rewards Group. So when I say FRAG, sometimes it's just a simple way of using the acronym. But um, they are working on a new rewards app uh, with different levels for holders. The more you hold, the more you earn. Um, and there's going to be a percentage uh, with a referral code that will earn you extra FRG. So you'll be able to do staking, you'll be able to do farming, uh, and then of course you can always buy it on Terraport or buy it on Coin Hall. So you can certainly go check that out uh, today. And if you haven't already, certainly go over here and start following this as the Lunk Zombies. If you guys remember this, we it's a side-scrolling game. Uh, we'll play that a little bit more on the on the stream in the next couple of days, but. Uh, this is the FRG ecosystem validator. Now you can you can also validate with them. Um, so and, and certainly go check it out. And it's brought to you by Garuda um, and, and all of these guys. They're 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 all uh, they're they're all just in on it, trying to find that that good uh, use case function mechanism that's going to make Luna Classic explode. That's what they're trying to do is make Luna Classic explode in price for you, the investor. So uh, what are you waiting for? Go, go buy yourself some FRG today 
go go get into the uh, go get into it and uh let's all make it back you know what i mean all right guys that's my time thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate you every one of you and uh, this is not financial advice but i'm always right uh, i think we're gonna get a good pump and uh 